Oh, it always goes so fast. Even the five minute one, I get antsy and I'm like, oh man, I've got so much time. What do I do? And then it's like 10 seconds. And then like, oh, fuck. Amazing. <laughs> Immediately you're like, oh, and I'm live now. Yep. Yep. Even though it literally has the numbers on that one and I have yeah. no excuse. <laughs> it's, it's whatever. Welcome to a double stream because we're crossing streams, I guess, because now we can do that. <laughs> we can multi stream <laughs> and also like single stream to whichever channel so yeah it's pretty fancy. cool though we are fancy anyway welcome to both even funny games and ham pod <laughs> <laughs> amazing even footing pod even footing pod <laughs> um we are gonna play a two-person ttrpg called our mundane supernatural life i, I have yes <laughs> okay, great. Because I was having way too many windows. Um, Fair enough. But but before we get started, we put up the new banner. But that is old news. Rick and I are both a part of TTRPG Talks uh, charity drive for Doctors Without Border, benefiting people in Gaza. And uh, we have already raised $5,800. Yeah, which is pretty we were, darn cool. The last I saw, super, super close to the 6,000 mark. Yeah, it's really close. Um, so throughout the stream, I will probably have a banner that will go up. We have links in both of the channels. Actually, let me do ours too. Because <laughs> I think you just did it for HamPod, but I'm going to do it for Oh, uh, yeah, games. that's a good point. I have no idea how that's going to work. Nightbot says it for both. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's good. Nothing's on fire. Yeah. Um, but please go donate and tell them that the green team sent you because we are way cooler than the red team. Is all and I can tell you. their asses, so we well, need that... to keep doing that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we are nothing if uh, not competitive. So. Exactly. Um. Yeah, so why don't you kind of share? Because you just said, hey, Aaron, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What uh, are we doing? Because so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So uh, this game is meant to be, as it says on the, the first page, that well, I guess it's the second page that I'm looking at. It's a slice of life game about extraordinary daily living. So we'll figure out uh, here in a second, because... You know, I said, hey, let's do like we did for uh, your friend in witchcraft and we'll kind of make yeah. it up as we go, because I think it's more fun to show kind of the character building, the world building of it uh, on stream versus just being like, oh, hey, let's do this, especially because we came up with some really cool shit for that. <laughs> yeah, by <laughs> like, the way, we're also playing a game called our, fr our Your Friend in Witchcraft, and our first uh, letter entries went up on the Even Fitting Games Patreon blog, so you can read those without being a patron. That's just where you find them. Um, but it's it's a really interesting. I don't know that it was supposed to be a time travel game, but we made it one. <laughs> exactly. And this, uh, I mean, it's not that I didn't want to play with you, but because I play a lot of games with you, and Amanda had shared this one i was like hey amanda do you want to come play and she's like i can't like okay well i'll ask some other people <laughs> <laughs> so i'm, yeah, I'm here so we are. offended <laughs> as you should be yeah um so who is going to be supernatural and who's going to be just a regular human i mean i know that in in these games i will always play our mundane and no power person oh, well, uh, like an avatar <laughs> maybe that's true <laughs> but in in avatar legends everybody's like i want to be a bender and i'm like nope nope <laughs> just a regular dude just a regular nope. little guy it's all the more reason now you gotta <laughs> now you gotta be the monster oh no okay <laughs> that's fine and it, it gives some options here but we're definitely not limited uh the suggestions it gives are obviously like werewolf vampire ghost selkie superhuman which could mean a lot of things you could be a superhero you could be like a i i would like enhanced. to be 
I would person. love to be a, a Selkie. Those, yeah. those people are normal, but then they have coats that make them turn into seals, right? Is mm -hmm. that right? Okay, cool. I'll be a Selkie. Yeah. There was we had a... one of those in, uh, that's what Rye played in uh, Woody's Monster Hearts game. Oh, nice. Yeah, the Parker intro story. There you go. <laughs> Oh, Monster Hearts, we'll miss you until next month. <laughs> I was going to say, it won't be very long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I will be the normal boring person. And so you get to now pick a supernatural problem, or I guess we can pick it together. Okay. Uh, it gives suggestions, again, of uncontrollable powers or transformations, unsavory needs, unnatural or shifting appearance, uh, unexpected weakness or aversions, other. Um, I like the idea that you uh, like have a shifting appearance so that like if you were out in, in normal life, like all of a sudden you come become kind of sealy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hey, uh, oh. your, your mustache is... <laughs> Exactly. You, or I guess, I guess a, that's the you got some whiskers. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're you're extra furry. I don't. You're just and, really and into like, like the, the cat girl cosplay thing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that one. Maybe yeah. maybe my hair changes colors to like a gray color whenever I'm almost changing. Right. Like if it rains. Ooh. Like. Yeah, like anytime, and like the picture that you gave for this, it looks kind of you know Pacific Northwesty. It's very tree like, right? So it could be very rainy where we are, <laughs> and that's also like the opposite end of the country from where we've been playing. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I like the idea that maybe if it's ever not raining, people are like, "Who is that?" and they don't recognize you because you just look <laughs> way different. Like, yeah, but most of the time, super, uh, super, like, yeah, cat girl whiskers and gray <laughs> hair, and it's great. Yeah, so you are definitely like an e-girl. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Those are things that I don't know what they mean. Like. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> um. So our mundane problem, um, it gives suggestions of moving towns, planning a wedding, planning a funeral, paying off debt. That's too realistic. <laughs> uh, child minding, pet minding, opening a shop. That's fun. That's fun. Um, exams, renovating, going vegan, first day of school, and other. I like the shop. Yeah. What, what kind of shop do we want to open? <laughs> I mean, I want to sell books, obviously. Well, of course. And you know what? If it's Pacific Northwest, I feel like we have to be like a coffee shop bookstore hybrid. Yeah. Can we specialize in queer literature? Oh, of course. Okay. We <laughs> we do kidding. have like a straight section. It's very small. It's very small, and very <laughs> narrow. Yeah. Uh, a lot of local authors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here um, for it. I'm here. Yep. <laughs> I was about to say that. Get out of my uh, brain. <laughs> and, you know, also, if it's a coffee shop, you have to have some baked goods. So, sure. you know, probably it's not even, like, fully ours. Maybe, like, one of us has one part. One of us has the other. Like, maybe you have the bookstore part. Maybe I have, like, the coffee mm -hmm. shop. And then somebody else does the bakery stuff. Mm-hmm. So we're like, that could even be part of our mundane problem is like, we have this third person as our business partner. And that would be a weird third wheel because we're a couple, right? So it does say like that is one option. Um, oh, okay. Could also be, it says like life partners, uh, parent and child, grandparent and grandchild, siblings, lovers, flatmates, best friends. Or again, other. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I think that the expectation kind of is like life partner yeah, kind of thing. But mm -hmm. 
it's whatever is going to work best for this. I think whatever yeah, I think, sounds the most fun. Yeah. I mean, I think that sounds fun. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to read because obviously <laughs> this is the very first time I've looked at any of this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you monster. I know. Um, but I also like the idea that I would really, so you don't have kids, so have not watched enough t children's television, <laughs> but there was a show called Octonauts and they all I've ate the, it, the fish biscuits. <laughs> so I feel like I am constantly being like, why don't we carry fish biscuits? <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I worked for a number of years with adults with developmental disabilities. So like we watched one individual loved like PBS Kids, and that's yeah. all we watched all day. And I'm like, I hate this. I've watched the same episode so many times today, and it's just not gonna ever leave my brain. So yep, uh, I as a selkie. I assume that fish biscuits would be my ideal pastry. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So we were going to try and do this. There is um, a spreadsheet that they have as an option, uh, but we weren't able to edit it. And I'm not that smart with computer stuff. I could probably figure out if I took more time, but I didn't plan that yeah. far ahead. No. Uh, so... We're going to use index cards. We need 12. I bought and a whole bunch. So. Perfect. And if you would draw an X on the back of five of them, okay. but we're not going to look. Like we're going to, it's going to be a surprise which ones okay. have it. All right. Hold on. So five have X's. Yep. I grabbed five. X. Uh oh. My pen doesn't work. <laughs> Just kidding. We're I super prepared. Yeah, th this is, I mean, this is known. Have they ever <laughs> caught one of our streams before? It's true. It's true. All right. There are five that have X's on the backs. And Perfect. Then one. Okay. I had 14. Exactly. We need 12. I know, so I got rid of two. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hold on. That's so many. Um, okay, so the way this game works is we are going to play through a single day in our life. Uh, pick a day when your supernatural powers might cause you trouble, such as the day you need to feed, uh, which isn't necessarily, necessarily applicable here. Uh, mm -hmm. Or pick a day where a mundane problem might cause trouble, such as the day of a wedding, uh, like rehearsal, could be the day of a funeral, or maybe maybe this is when like our business rent is due. Or I was gonna say it, maybe it's our business like grand opening. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. I like that. So, on each index card, we're gonna write one thing that will take place during the day. Some of these are going to be super important, like. Gives examples of landing a big client or a werewolf transformation. Uh, most will be mundane, trivial tasks like rental inspections, walking the dogs, arranging birthday surprise. I don't think that's very mundane or boring. That's kind of a big deal. Um, uh, or making potpourri. <laughs> that's okay. literally one of the, the things it gives. Um, which, the side that's opposite from the X? Yeah, we don't want to know which ones have the X. Okay, so I'm going to mix those up. Okay. So that because they were all at the bottom. And then let's say um, maybe we have to do like a book reading for an opening. Yeah. So the first four it tells us to do are okay. things that we're going to do together. They're activities okay. that we share. So, yeah, I think the book reading would be pretty involved for both of us. Mm hmm. Like maybe our local queer author and we're, you know, getting it all set up. Yeah. And you know what? Because I've got my computer here so I can look at that. I'm just going to name generators. <laughs> because I'm not great at coming up with names. I usually just go with like Steve. It's, and oh, that's here. not a great, our not a great book, option right now. Our book, queer book reader is David Sedaris. 
sure. you're welcome. Because he is, in fact, a queer author who reads his books. And I have seen him read, I don't know, six times maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Could not tell. Okay, David Sedaris is coming to our shop, which yep. I am over the moon about, personally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we need to do? Hmm. Uh, pr probably we need to, like, kind of, like, reshelve throughout the day. Yeah. I yeah, know. I think reshelving, but that's not necessarily a both of us thing. That's true. That's a good So point. that might be something that we'll, we'll save for our separate tasks. Um probably all of the like last minute prep so okay. we probably have to get there early and okay. just make sure everything is like set up so i'm putting early morning prep which i don't know about other cities but like here most stores unless they're a really big like box store they don't open until 10 so yeah it's not super early it's like maybe we're getting there at like 8 30. Yeah, but if you're a coffee shop, you might actually open earlier. However. Yeah, being grand opening, though, I feel like. Oh, yeah, that's like true. Would... You want people there over, like, the, the hot time. I get you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Together. Um, do we have to meet with our other person who's in charge of the bakery for anything? Ooh. Actually, yeah, that's probably before we even do the prep is just like review, make sure maybe we have to do like inventory before. Okay. With I'm going to put with a uh, business partner. Yep. Okay, so that is three. So we only have one more. Um, what if we oh good oh i was gonna say like decorate or something like do some kind of uh i don't know if you decorate for grand openings i mean i would say so but i think that would probably fall under like our yeah early morning prep but i was gonna say like the after closing mm -hmm. cleanup yeah closing cleanup let's see uh, where is our business partner from? Um, let's say they're from uh, New York. If they're a baker and we're from the Pacific Northwest, then they're from somewhere else. <laughs> that makes so, sense. Or maybe they're from France. I don't know. But they're from somewhere a long way away. <laughs> uh, and so I used a different name generator than normal, and it gave me Ernesta Sabrina. Oh my gosh, Ernesto is my favorite. <laughs> Ernesta Sabrina is a just amazing name. Yeah, one hundred percent. Do you have something to write down our business partner's name on, or do I? I can do it. Um, I didn't plan that far ahead. Surprise uh, tip. Okay, Ernesto Sabrina. Sabrina, Sabrina, or Sabrino? Ernesta, Sabrina. Okay. Ernesta, Sabrina. Gotcha. We're doing so good. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Professionalism at its highest mm -hmm. form. Absolutely. Okay, so let's see. That's our four. And then uh, we would take four each since I don't have the index cards. Um, do you want to do yours first? Okay, so I'm going to say uh, uh, reshelving. And, like, I think that probably also restocking in case you would be, I don't know if that's the same. Or I mean, we, we could make it into we could two different each things. Have, yeah, we could each have one of those. And, and I would say probably would not hurt to put on there, like, which is which. Okay. Uh, oh, so we need to like put like R or A on one of them. Yeah. Okay. That I'm, way we can kind of remember whose task I put, it is. I put reshelving for me, and I put restocking for you. 
Um, then like we probably take turns running a register. So like we could maybe both have one of those. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense if you just had like one register for the whole thing. Yeah. So that it would encourage people to check out more of it. Yeah. Like if they just come there for coffee, maybe it'd be like, oh, well, I should check out these books while I'm yeah. waiting to pay. Um, do you want to do it two separate ways or do you want just one of us to have that? Um, no, let's actually, let's each have one of those. I think that'd okay. be good. Maybe something each of us would have to do after work. Mm -hmm. I was thinking sweeping is good. Well, I was thinking like a, a non-business thing, like at least one oh. non-business thing. Uh, one of us needs to pick up dinner because we are exhausted. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I could do that. Okay. Okay, so that's three for you, two for me. Ooh, and somebody's got to go to the bank. Oh, yeah, I'll go to the bank. Okay. One, one more each. Mm. Probably for me, like cleaning all of the like brewing equipment before we close. Okay. Cleaning coffee stuff. And uh, can I do cleaning like sweeping and the book area or something? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, actually, we have we have one that's together that's like cleaning up afterward that's true we do hmm um if only alana was here <laughs> <laughs> i know right um let's see maybe it's something else outside of the shop like we've done a lot of stuff there okay that's true um what if one of us had to do an interview for a local newspaper. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I feel like it would be more interesting if you had to do it, not because you like necessarily I... wanted to do it, but there was some yeah. reason why you had to do it. Uh, and of course it's raining, so. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, that one's for of, me. What kind of pet would a Selkie have? Um, I think a cat, because then I could blame the fact that I'm such a cat girl on my cat. And lots of bookshops have cats that just kind of roam. That's true. My favorite favorite local bookstore has two. Yeah. And uh, they just elected one of them, like the, the one that's the most friendly, to be like our city mascot, basically. Amazing. Yeah. He's a good boy. Uh, uh, do... We want that, or or is that a different question? Because we've still got uh, one for you. No, so that was I was thinking like maybe having to, I don't know, either like go to the vet or pick them up from like groomers or. Oh my gosh, like one of the cats got into something at the coffee shop. Like yeah. ate some. I mean, I don't know if cats can eat chocolate. Like dogs can't eat chocolate. I but don't like. I don't know. But maybe, maybe not that. Maybe it's just like it got some like bubble gum in its fur. Oh, okay. Some little um, kid came in unsupervised. Yep. Cat vet visit. Vet, hello. Cat vet visit. Can't talk. <laughs> brain, brain hard. It's fine. Okay. We're not on stream or anything. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> Do I need to sh uh, mix these up again? Uh, so we will organize them in chronological order, which oh, okay. I think we more or less, for the most part, kind of did. Um, well, we've got to do early morning prep first, um, inventory, then the closing cleanup will be at the end. Mm 
Right. We have a book reading. One of us will restock and reshelve, and one and while the other one probably does the running a register and or. Oh yeah. Um, um, because we all... have we have things to do, so we gotta yeah. get stuff in in orders, right? Maybe I'll take running register first before okay. the book signing okay. because that would be a little bit more your thing like we would both be there we'd both be somewhat involved but yeah well and maybe while you're running the register i'll talk to the reporter for the paper really quick mm, yeah and then um and then we'll have our book signing and then um one of us will um i'll reshelve or actually you'll have to restock and then i'll reshelve <laughs> and then i'll run the register oh man it's so weird and then I'm, I'm already stressed out but in a good way yeah you have to go to the vet because something's going to happen yeah i'm gonna have to go to the bank you're gonna pick up dinner and closing cleanup I have no idea. I feel it's like kind of, I feel that's, like those need to be after closing. Okay. Cleanup. Like those need to be but, end of the day things. But the vet visit is probably a little unscheduled. And so But I think that's all the more reason to do it like at the end of the day. Maybe we're like okay. getting ready to close up and it's like, oh shit, the cat's got bubble gum in its fur. Okay. So, I guess it wouldn't be the vet, it'd be like the groomers, but Yeah, okay. That's fine. All right. All right. In order. Oh, no. I put them with the other sides up. So hold on. I got to <laughs> I gotta do this so that I'm not looking at which ones have X's. I, yeah, because yeah. we, we don't need to be surprised by this. Like, we know what our tasks are. Yeah. Um. So the fun part here is that we set a timer for each scene. Um, okay. I will... I don't know. I'm torn. So it suggests uh, you roll the D4 and you add one. So it's a minimum of two minutes for okay. each scene. I think that in some ways that's plenty, but I think there are other ways that like it's not enough. So it does say you could use like a D6 or whatever you wanted. Mm -hmm. So what do you well, think? The D4 maybe at first, and if we feel like it's going too fast, we can always move up. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Do we want to go ahead and roll for each one now, or do we want to just do it each as they come up? Let's just do it as they come up, because okay. we may even decide to change or give ourselves more time or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, also, what are our character names? Oh, I labeled everything with Aaron and Rick. Um, well, that's okay. I mean, that that makes it a little bit easier to remember, because those are our names. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, but with an E. <laughs> That's my character name. Doing so good. Doing it's so good. very different, guys. So different. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I'm generating a name because I like... No, generate me one too. <laughs> uh, do you have anything in mind, like a specific uh, culture or anything? Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm going to... Did I ever get to use Meg? No, I used Margaret. I'm going to use Meg. Okay. Because at some point I was like, oh, I'm going to be Meg. And then I was like, oh, I forgot I'm already a nominee. <laughs> so. Um, we'll go English names. Ooh. Uh, I'll go with Jensen. Ooh. That's fancy. Right? Okay, get the thing back up. So what is our first scene? Our first scene is early morning prep. Perfect. So I got a two. So we've got three minutes. Okay. Do you have a, a timer, timer or something? I okay, do. cool. Allegedly. Allegedly, that's fine. I'm hoping it makes noise. I haven't used it in a while, so I don't remember. Hold on. 
Well, mm -hmm. if we know we're just going on and on for morning prep forever, we'll just know that we <laughs> that we stop. don't need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yep. Cool. Starting. So, I guess we both get to our store, right? Yeah. Have What's our store's name? name? <laughs> uh, books and brews, obviously. Okay, very that absolutely B and B, just for some reason, I don't know why anybody would name their Honestly, stuff that. Didn't, but didn't even think about that. B and B is a great acronym for our store. Yeah, and this is this is all just you know, just happens. Jensen and and Meg having yeah. this discussion. Exactly. <laughs> they don't know anything about babies and broadswords. It's fine. Or do they? Maybe they sell it. Oh, <gasps> they probably do. What if it's a and slash game store? <laughs> I mean that in character, there's there's nothing saying that we can't sell like TTRPG books too. It's fine. Yeah. And games about dating monsters, but that's that's the end. I like mean who an... would who would do that? Looking over know. at our, our <laughs> business partner, whose name I've already forgotten. Ernesta. Ernesta. <laughs> yeah, just looking over at Ernesto, like, who would ever do that? Who would date a monster? <laughs> Weird. Not judging, but like, <laughs> yeah, just not for me. <laughs> yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, this is well, great already. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Meg, what do you have to do to get ready? Um, I figure that we that I probably need to. Um, wipe down the windows to make sure they're really clean oh, and so people mm -hmm. can see through. And um, we probably need to, um, you know, get all the equipment for the coffee stuff running, right? Oh, it's already going. Yeah, that's the first oh, thing okay. we did. All right. Well, then I'm going to, you know, put out a sandwich board kind of thing that says, oh, like, and I draw something on it with that has grand opening. And put that out there and wash the windows a little bit. And I think that probably the store is pretty clean. Probably a little bit too clean because we're right. a little extra about it because it's the first day. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, I don't know that it needs a ton of stuff done. But making sure that like our register, uh, like our software to take credit cards and stuff goes through because I've never had that happen where suddenly your internet doesn't work and you can't sell things. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't sound legit at all. Also, yeah. I fucked up on the timer and I said it for three hours. <laughs> We're at our three minutes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, yep. I'm doing so good guys. <laughs> One second. Let me. Okay. There we go. What is our next scene? Uh, our next scene is doing inventory. Ooh. And that one's together, right? It is together. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Uh, uh, it's set for oh, three minutes this time. <laughs> three minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, I Maybe we got some new stuff in boxes so we like have to add that out and like because mm, i feel mm -hmm. like we probably know and haven't sold anything yet but like we got a couple shit last minute shipments and so we're adding those into our inventory and like scanning them with a little gun oh yeah yeah so jensen's just i've never worked retail helping. no <laughs> but jensen's just like over helping in like the bookstore area just like scanning just like beep 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 is it do you think it's time to open yet? I'm really excited and I really want to meet David Stairs. <laughs> I mean, it's only 930. I think I think we could wait a little bit. I mean, we're still okay. still getting everything unpacked and like Yeah, I don't think David's getting here till noon anyway. So Yeah. I mean I wouldn't wake up until like eleven if I didn't have to, but Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me speaking personally. <laughs> Not even remotely. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the best 
business, uh, a coffee shop is definitely the best business venture for a non-morning person. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get all the coffee I can drink, right? That's true. That's true. Are you a little bit too hyper? Are you shaking as you're shooting the gun at the books? Uh, no, I feel like Jensen didn't have any coffee before we left home. It's like now just kind of starting to wake up uh, mm -hmm. just because, you know, this is the first coffee of the day. Meg is only drinking tea and, and non-caffeinated tea at that because she's like shaking with excitement. <laughs> ready ready for the day to go like yes this and is I'm it sure zero you've been working nerves. so long zero oh, yeah. nerves no. about like transforming accidentally oh yeah that's true I couldn't have forgot that I was a sucky <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, no nerves also favorite author and I'm sure we've been working a long time on this and people Meg is probably kind of introverted if she's a book nerd and yeah. And also doesn't <laughs> want to transform in front of people. Absolutely. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I mean, everything's going to be fine. You just have to like keep breathing. Yeah. Maybe you'd lay off the, the caffeine today. I know that really, yeah. really gets you jittery. Yeah. And sometimes uh, makes my hair change color faster. Sometimes I don't know why. And I'd start talking really fast because, like, nerves. Yeah, not, like, inhaling coffee all day. No, no, like, she's hey. more than caffeinated enough not doing any caffeination. Caffeine, right. You know. Ugh. Also, that is the, hard. the weirdest timer and sound. I don't know if you could hear that, but it was very I quiet. did hear it, yeah. All right. Also, I now, forgot to roll for that one. I just went with three minutes again, uh, but we'll we'll roll this next time. Okay, so I think it's opening time because now you are going to run the register, Ooh. and I am going to do an interview with a paper. Oh, thank God. I got a one, <laughs> so I only have to do two minutes. <laughs> uh, so are you going to play the customer then? Uh, Sure. Um, so I come in and I'm not Meg anymore. I am customer one and I'm like, Hey, um, you know, do people even read anymore? Like I heard about this and like, I don't feel like people read anymore and I'm being a pain in the ass and like, what okay. kind of recommendations are you looking for or what, like what kind of what kind of recommendations, what kind of books does this place even sell? Because it looks pretty dumb. I mean, we sell all kinds of books. Uh, mostly a lot of local authors. It's very, like, queer literature focused. But, you know, we do have, like, a, a, a section over here for, like, the more mainstream stuff that maybe that's oh, yeah. more speed. Yeah, probably. For sure. Not the gay books. Don't want those. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it's, it's right over there. <laughs> okay. And then I, yeah, go and I come back with a Colleen Hoover book. <laughs> Did you find everything okay? Yeah, she's my favorite author ever. Full stop. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love that for you. Can't say I've ever read her books, but... Uh... You you stock something that you haven't read? Jeez. I mean, I, I mostly work the, the coffee part. That's my area okay but, you know. well kind of slacking i guess better read some books <laughs> i love this person <laughs> and now they go wildly from one to the other <laughs> does anybody even so, read to like you should read <laughs> so i follow a lot of bookstore owners like indie bookstore owners on tiktok and they always are like people come in and like you know print media is dying <laughs> so <laughs> I love that, like, yes, that's you in real life, but also that's probably Meg. Yeah. <laughs> Follows a lot of TikTok people. 100%. <laughs> way All too right. into book talk. Way, yeah, way too into book talk when she should be on other sides of TikTok, for sure. It's or fine. I guess she shouldn't be on other sides of TikTok, but I should be. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine. 
Yeah. All right. So that is that scene. Oh, uh, do I have to next? look when I go through these if there's oh, an X on the back? Yes, that is absolutely a thing. Okay. Luckily, no X's have come up. Okay. Uh, if there is an X, then there's a complication. And okay. it means that something goes wrong. Okay. I'm kind of scared that now I have the interview with the paper and we haven't got an X yet. Right. Um, am I supposed to look or should I roll? I guess I'll roll. Um, yeah. Why don't you roll for the time? I got a four. Oh no, you got five minutes. <laughs> you have to be the interviewer though. Mm -hmm. It's true. I mean, that doesn't mean I have to give a good interview. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, Alana, now that you're here, uh, what goes wrong in this interview? Please give us some, <laughs> some direction on this so that yeah. we know how to role play this for five minutes. <laughs> so long. <laughs> it's like the only time that I would ever but say they don't five know. minutes is a long time. <laughs> yeah, they don't They don't know. Like, I'm a selkie in disguise. There's all sorts of stuff that could happen. Oh, if I yeah. get rained on, maybe somebody spills their coffee on me and I like that I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man they do know they do know. <laughs> oh okay <laughs> <laughs> that's dedication <laughs> alana is the most dedicated just for, for a quick second if anybody wants some amazing dice go to spectral craft dice because they're amazing and also are like the un unsung hero of the EFG streams. Always there. Always. <laughs> Almost always. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you have any ideas for how this interview goes wrong, I would love to hear it. Tell me how I can fuck this up on purpose. <laughs> trying to think. So you said local newspaper, right? Yeah. Ooh, maybe, maybe well, the reporter. Well, Alana says that the, the reporter is the one who does it. Who spills the coffee on me? Mm -hmm. And maybe it's not a because like, does anyone actually read the newspaper? Maybe it's like a TV station. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Or <laughs> everything's fine. Or it's a you know a podcast. Who knows? Whatever. Like I don't know anybody who podcasts. Only lame people podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just calling ourselves out. <laughs> exactly. That's that's how I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just uh, let's roll with it. So, okay. Starting the timer. All right. All right. Uh, so tell us about your store. Uh, tell us who you are, where you're located, and what you do. Uh... Well, uh, books and brews is a is it or is it booze and books? I don't remember. However, <laughs> it goes both ways. Oh, okay. says Jensen from behind you. <laughs> nice, like we do, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, you know we make our games horny. It's just a thing we do. <laughs> what? We're not um, a game store, Meg. My bad. My bad. <laughs> bookstore people are probably horny too it's fine yeah <laughs> um yeah so books and brews are uh is a, li a long time dream of my partner jensen and myself and our partner ernesta who is a baker all the way from new york city um and we have made this beautiful space with lots of places for people to read and come together as a community and read lots of queer books and local authors. And as you're saying that, maybe I think it's probably Jensen or you know what? Ernesta has not been involved. Ernesta comes over and is like, Hey, here's your, here's your coffees and uh, spills on you and the reporter. Oh my gosh. So if I uh, get, I don't know, like, is it, all over that if I get even a little bit wet, I'm gonna yeah. start whiskering out. Yeah. 
just right in front of everyone. Okay, great. I mean, you um, gotta make it subtle somehow. But like... Yeah. So my hair will start graying out, and my whiskers will start getting a little bit longer, a little at a time. And I kind of notice, and I'm like trying to mess with my face. <laughs> the camera person's like adjusting their settings. Like, yeah, this lighting in here is really weird. I don't know what's it going is on. Very weird. <laughs> And I feel like I'm going to maybe try and cut it really short. Right. Um, because obviously I do not want them to see my my cat girl whiskers suddenly appear. Um, so um, I'll be like, yeah, it's just really good. But, you know, nobody reads the paper anymore. So probably you guys don't need a ton from me, right? Actually, you know, Ernesta is uh going to be get like is gonna know so much about all of the things about baking and you should definitely go ask her because she's amazing go talk to her and ask her why they don't have fish biscuits yet so <laughs> that was me ad libbing for all that time yeah great job all Meg. that like 45 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> we still have almost two minutes left. Yeah. Oh gosh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So I actually want to take the the person over and kind of introduce uh the reporter to Ernesta and say, see, Ernesta is like Ernesta studied in France and makes the best pastries, except not fish, fish biscuits, because we need to get on that. And um, is trying to kind of walk away as best they can. Right. But maybe they keep getting asked questions. Oh, absolutely. Because Ernesta like, does not even turn towards the camera. She's just like very, very busy making biscuits and not fish biscuits. You know. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Very not camera worthy, very camera yeah. shy. Like, I could really use a fish biscuit right about now. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, actually, you know, David Sedaris, he's coming and we have to get ready for him. So I'm going to have to let you go just uh, well, right. Tell us more about that because I don't, I don't think I know who that is. Oh my gosh, David Steris is the best, and you probably have heard all of his stories on This American Life or uh, in many a bookstore or a radio thing, uh, big with NPR listeners, and uh, just is incredibly funny, and um, Jesus Shaves is my favorite short story, <laughs> where they are explaining uh, how uh, to explain the Easter Bunny to country uh people from countries that don't have uh easter yep that was great that was that was five minutes <laughs> uh sorry my heater is super super loud and it kicked on because i forgot to like turn it <laughs> off for this because it doesn't really affect anything to have it off for a little bit uh and i was like oh shit this is gonna be so loud it's gonna sound like there's a car <laughs> in my apartment <laughs> awesome yeah, so I saved the day by doing that real quick. There you All go. Right. What is our next scene? Oh, yeah our 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 your, our camera shy baker should have been Atlanta. That's right. <laughs> we, we could have just stuck stuck her stuck him right in there. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Next, David Zaris is coming to read Ooh. a book. All right. Oh. So one of us on is. One. One of us is going to have to like do some introductions, which I feel like it has to be you now because I yeah. did the interview. <laughs> oh gosh, no, no X. <laughs> I was really scared. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're just going to jump into this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so maybe, maybe we even like kind of make a formal announcement like, hey, yeah. everyone. Uh, we have a, a special guest today for our grand opening. Uh, guest, you want to tell us who you are? <laughs> and and we have gotten all the chairs put out and all that kind of stuff. And maybe there's some, I don't know, 
book signing stuff like you could buy his book and he'll sign it for you because he always does that um but so we're just trying to and also people go crazy for david sedaris and we'll stand in really long lines trust me on this one <laughs> and by the way if you haven't listened to david sedaris stories only audible like only audiobooks of david sedaris trust me on this just do it um <laughs> that's meg not aaron it's both <laughs> <laughs> It's for sure both. Um, but yeah, so we're just, I feel like we're probably like shushing little kids. Oh, absolutely. Uh, trying to make sure that people who are coming in aren't like jingle jangling the door. Or um, letting the cats out. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Do we have two cats now? Uh, you know what? Screw it, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We adopted and... one today. Oh, it's just new. Mm -hmm. I bet to I say to you in. at some point, <laughs> I say to you at some point, you know who else would like fish biscuits? These cats. Can you maybe Listen, talk to Ernesto I, about it? I told them, but I, I, what are you going to do? Yeah. The first day, right? You know, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Okay. They're really good. They're like a, a selkie delicacy, like for sure. Yeah, shh, shh, don't, don't say the S word. I so mean, Okay, but like I think that other people would like them too. Like lots of people like fish. Well, yeah, in their but... sweet goods, <laughs> sweet yep. baked goods. Yep, sure do. <laughs> it's a thing a lot of people like. <laughs> yeah, honey, you're giving me that look like I have weird tastes again, and I don't like this is normal for me and i feel like you're judging me again and this no, is not the no, day I'm for not it judging you i just you know <laughs> like other people don't necessarily like that as much as you do you know ernesta once told me about that there is such a thing as candied fish so i don't know how you do that but uh i'm well probably by cooking it in sugar somehow but because that's how you candy did anything. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm useless. I got I in the kitchen, we both are. That's why we have Ernesta. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesta's actually like our third partner, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe they are. Like, who knows? We're yeah. in the Pacific Northwest. Nobody's gonna judge too hard. We are just partners also, and 20, partners 24. and partners. Exactly. Partners and partners. <laughs> It's fine. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So what would people be doing? Uh, like, would they be freaking out in line or would it be? No, like... they would be quietly listening, except for kids who would be bored. Um, although I think that David Sedaris would probably like interact with the kids a little bit. And although not maybe too much, and like, be like, okay, now shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and that that earns jensen's respect like oh yeah. i like this guy <laughs> yeah all right that's four minutes okay <laughs> a very long four minutes <laughs> okay uh, now it is time for me to run the register amazing yeah uh you want to roll for it uh i guess <laughs> great amanda's dice are not Ooh, only a one nice Yay. Two minutes. That's what I got to. All right, we're jumping in. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be a little kid who has lost their parents, and it's not a very oh. big store, you know? Yeah. So, uh, my, my parents are gone. Can you help me? Yeah, what are your parents' names? Mom? Yeah, okay. You should really... Okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I checked the back of their shirt. To see if they have a name written in it. <laughs> uh, odds or evens? Uh, odds. They don't. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, I say, what's your name? Um, Steven. Okay. Uh, and, and Meg kind of shouts a little bit. Not shouts, but like is loud. Are Steven's mom or dad or people around? Um, any of Steven's grown-ups? 
and you hear like some mumbling, but nobody like speaks up. Okay, so I say to Steven, I'm like, hey, no problem. They're not going anywhere without you. Just come and hang out with me at the register and we'll hang out. And um, I maybe I like flag uh, you or Ernesta down and say, hey, uh, could this kid have maybe a cookie or something? And um, like, I hope he's not allergic to anything. <laughs> Uh, Jensen's definitely gonna I, get like I a say like a nut coffee. free, yeah. <laughs> I'm like uh, nut and allergen free cookie, and vegan, gluten free, gluten free. <laughs> like <laughs> an absolute like chalk mess of a cookie. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. give that to the kid; it's got sugar in it. He'll be fine. <laughs> Jensen just like gets literally some sugar. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, so don't worry kid. about it. They're not going anywhere. Um, and uh, eventually the parent will come up. So Yeah, and now that our, our time is up for that, I think maybe uh, somebody like bursts into the store and is like, oh my God, my kid. Because <laughs> they left there, without them. I didn't look, but there was no X, which means we've got a lot of Xs. Left. Oh no. <laughs> Everything's going to go wrong at the end of the Everything. Day. All right. So you are restocking. Okay. Next. Hey, I got a one. And so. Oh no! Something goes wrong. <laughs> I don't know what, but. Okay. Yeah. Screw it. Let's go. Uh, timer started. So uh, Jensen is just like refilling the coffee beans. You know, like that's great big display because uh, we've sold so much coffee, Absolutely. a ridiculous amount. Um. Yeah. Maybe. Oh man. That would be horrible. Uh, maybe the container just like splits open. <gasps> and so there's just coffee beans all over the floor. But it smells amazing. Like, <laughs> but Meg, that's not the, that's not the point. Like, oh, okay. we can't use yeah. these now. That, I mean, oh, I guess we could take them home and use them. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not waste them. guys. <laughs> Yeah, like we'll we'll <laughs> rinse them off and it's fine. And then freeze them; it'll be fine. It, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just not tell the health department about this. No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's this is well, none of it's getting used here, so it's fine. Right. Right. Ooh, and maybe because it's the first day, like maybe that's when the health department shows up. <laughs> They're like, like, oh, uh, I'm I'm so sorry. Like this is terrible timing. It was. Just a weird accident. It's been a crazy day. I uh, getting this cleaned up right now. Okay, um, but what are you doing with those beans? <laughs> Obviously, we gotta throw them away. Like we can't use them now. Okay, good, good answer. I, I really, that's really important that you know that. Also, where is your food and beverage license? That's you have right to have there. it posted somewhere. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, all right, you pass because it's a first day of a restaurant and it's probably really clean but it you know no more coffee beans until, like, on the floor <laughs> yeah it was super clean until like right before you walked in sure <laughs> <laughs> i promise you come back like later today it'll be clean okay all right quit i just wanted to keep going it wanted you to hear more of the song Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> now I am reshelving books. So a bunch of people have like left their books all over. Of and course. yep, that's Nyx. <laughs> um, well, but so, that's our third one. So we should only have what, two more? Yeah. But we only all have right. four cards left. So <laughs> it's going to be a lot of, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so How let's say. Oh, how much time? Four minutes, because it's three, oh, no. so plus one. All right, we're going. Okay. Um, so Meg starts looking around for books that have been misplaced and maybe realizes that there are a ton of books that are, like, missing but have not been purchased. And... Oh. Like, but, um, they all seem to be like David Sedaris books. 
And so maybe like somebody was like trying to hide them to like go back to the line or something. And so while I'm reshelving all this stuff, I'm like searching for, you know, like the people at Target who like put the clearance stuff behind like the Nilla wafers mm -hmm. or something like really weird. I've never worked in a Target. I don't know about <laughs> that. Um <laughs> I feel like Jensen, like, finds somebody who comes in in a really shitty mustache and, like, confronts them. Is like, hey, what are you what are you doing? Like, you gotta buy these. They're not free. And and that person's like, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to buy them. I just forgot my wallet and I just have to come back. But see, David Sedaris already signed it to me and I just need to still pay for it. Yeah, no, we'll hold on to it, though. It's fine. We'll keep it behind the register for you. Okay, I may have hidden Holidays on Ice and Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls as well. Because those are two David Sedaris books. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to show me where they are, and uh, we'll hold on to them. You don't, you don't have to hide anything. You can just... Okay. So he shows you one that's behind the Court of Something and Something by Aaron... And, <laughs> of the court yeah and um then another one behind oh it's a kathleen or C colleen hoover book again <laughs> those things are selling like hotcakes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i'm looking for all these books that have been hidden in wrong places basically of course yeah yeah, probably and... one behind like a Sim Kern book or, you know. Oh, yeah, that's great. We probably stock. Sim Kern's book also was really, really good. I really was a fan of, and now I'm going to try and remember what the name of the first like novel length one is. Don't worry, I I'm putting read you on the spot. That's, that's what the X is, is me putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I mean, it was like a protesty book with a band and man... And so what the... goes wrong here? Like what? Uh, what goes wrong? Oh, oh! I thought that that they were hiding the books was the what goes wrong. I mean, yeah, that makes Maybe sense. Maybe somebody comes in and is like, "Hey, I need you to name all of Sim Kern's <laughs> books." And I'm gonna the, be like, the reporter comes back and is like, "Real quick, can you can you give us some like names?" And I'm like, Sim Kern wrote. The short stories, Real Sugar is Hard to Find. And, um, dang it, it's got an orange cover. It's really bright, and it's probably right over here in the K area. <laughs> but I can't remember the name of the book, even though I read it, and I could tell you that it was very good. I promise. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Thank you. We're, <laughs> we're not hearing that. <laughs> Of course you're not. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Ooh, man. I I come over and tell tell uh, Ernesta and Jensen. I'm like, man, never. Can we not put me in charge of the <laughs> interviews anymore? Also, this whole time, gray gray hair. I don't know if it's starting to like resume back to normal, but that would also be kind of weird if all of a sudden people were talking to me and my whiskers start coming in. Right. I mean, does it like if she gets nervous sweats, does that count? Oh <laughs> I bet you all the time. <laughs> so it's just like constant give and yeah. take, like constantly back and forth between whiskers well, and no whiskers. She maybe she puts like 10 pounds of baby powder in her armpits. She's like <laughs> she kind of moves around in a clown like cloud like pig pen. Mm-hmm. It's just so a white dry. clown instead of a dark clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's amazing. All right. What do we got next? Okay. Closing cleanup. Perfect. Nothing goes wrong. Oh, man. Got five minutes on that one. You know what? Okay. Let's just call this one two minutes because okay. we've had some long ones. And Yeah, we have. And we All still right. have three more after this. I know, right? Okay. So closing cleanup. That was a really busy day but i think that was good like yeah we got a lot of people interested and i we sold a lot of sim kern books in addition to a lot of david sedaris books lots of queer books were sold and i feel good about that well that's good because i think that's the point right yeah definitely 
Ernesta, did you sell a lot of fish biscuits? <laughs> no fish biscuits. Damn it. <laughs> I swear that if you make them, they will come. I've heard this somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's how it goes. If you make fish biscuits, they will come. <laughs> exactly. Pretty sure that's the quote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Poor shame. Anyway. Poor shame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I guess we got to do it again tomorrow, uh, right? Yeah. Like, and I'm going to sweep up because that kid with the gluten-free, nut-free, uh, dairy-free cookie got crumbs because that was just a pasty mess of... I mean, it was wonderful, Ernesta. <laughs> Those, it's, he really loved that cookie. Um, and so she starts sweeping up, but most of the cookie is on the mm -hmm. ground and crumbles. Um, <laughs> she's like getting out the vacuum cleaner that's, you know, probably new, but I feel like all retail vacuum cleaners do not work very well. Oh, absolutely. Like, uh, And Jensen like notices that uh, whatever our cat's name, I don't think we named them. We did uh, fluffy because yeah. why not because that would sure. make sense uh yeah. has gum stuck in in their hair oh man hope it wasn't <sighs> that kid who was crumbling the cookie and stuff yeah um, that, that little steven shit yeah um so you now because you just found that out have to go to the vet and <laughs> I was going to say, I think I'm the last two, right? <laughs> no, I have one more oh, and you? you have one more after this. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, do I not have to go get dinner still? That's, but I figured you'd wait till after you had de dealt with the cat. Uh, gotcha. Because you are a kind and caring pet owner <laughs> and wouldn't like say like Fluffy, just sit tight. <laughs> I'm going to go yeah. pick up Indian food. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy is very upset about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's just. Let's just call the rest of these two minutes because okay. we'll just make them yeah. quick. Um, yeah. So Jensen gets to the vet or the, the groomers, I guess. Yeah. Um, with And they're like, do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but it's kind of an emergency. Uh, we've got a gum situation and Fluffy is just losing their shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I appreciate that. However, like we are a very busy business. Um, we have lots of high gluten dog and cat clients with lots of poodles with lots of fancy haircuts. I mean, and... are you a David Sedaris <laughs> fan? Because I could, I could get you some books. Actually, you know what? I love David Sedaris. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I've, I've got a stack of that. We're just like, a few doors down, you know, if you could, uh, I guess for, um, I don't have his book naked yet. So if you could get me a copy of naked, um, that's signed, I guess I can get your cat in here. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that my partner has got like all of them signed in triplicates. So, Oh, okay. All right. And, um, the, the guy starts, uh, trying to groom Fluffy while you go get the book and like <laughs> Fluffy is just like clawing the shit out of the person oh, like absolutely. absolutely and like Fluffy is going to end up looking like one of those hairless cats <laughs> <laughs> the sphinx yeah <laughs> yeah that's like super ugly and gross but like <laughs> hypoallergenic <laughs> yeah yeah poor Fluffy not oh, very Fluffy I know. anymore I know and I feel like everybody's going to be like why did you name your cat Fluffy we're going to be like, well, mm. we, okay. Mm. Yeah, it's a sad accident. First day, yeah. you know, bound to happen. There's some, there's some kinks to be worked out. Uh, we got to maybe have a sign that says no gum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably sensible for a bookstore. Yeah. Um, And so now I go to the bank. Are we, okay. We're just doing two minutes for this one? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So I go down to the bank and I've got my big bag and um, probably 
It's probably after. I probably just do a night deposit, but yeah. I don't have an X. So That's probably good. it goes pretty well. Don't get mugged. <laughs> well, I was thinking more like I couldn't get the Dropbox yeah. open or something, or I had I didn't learn where the Dropbox was or something like that. It starts raining and there's a line. But yeah, oh maybe I, you know, and I actually it's if I it started raining, that's a problem. Because mm -hmm. I'm getting very selkyish. And uh like as I am in front of you know, all the bank stuff has like cameras mm -hmm. everywhere. So as I'm like putting my deposit slips and everything in this bag and locking it up, um I put it in and like, I'm kind of like trying to hide my mustache again. <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm looking super shifty on the bank camera as my hair goes from whatever color Meg's hair is to gray, because that's, she's, she's going full seal. <laughs> I mean, in the rain in like Pacific Northwest, I bet you that's a lot of rain. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know how much it takes, but maybe she's got her umbrella and so she's not that wet yet. But you know, it's enough that it it starts. Oh yeah, problems. she's definitely, definitely got full full whiskers mm -hmm. and, and gray hair. So <laughs> and the bank has definitely been like, what the heck is going on? Like Yeah. Every couple of weeks they've got someone out there to check their cameras. Like yeah, and there's like, nothing wrong what? with them. Yeah. But those B and B book people are so shifty. <laughs> and did you hear that there were three of them? And I think they're all partners and partners. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a good place to end that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And yours is last pickup dinner, and you've got the X. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, and you said Indian food, so. Um, what goes wrong? Uh, the Indian food place is already closed already. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, what's open? Anything? Um, just your very least favorite um, Chinese. It's only only uh, the panda one. What, panda what's Express. Panda? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only that one. The shittiest. Oh, I really do hate Panda <laughs> Express in real I life. Me too. <laughs> oh man and so jensen like gets out their cell phones like i i've bad news uh the groomers took a really long time fluffy's okay ish now uh but the indian place is closed and the only place open is panda express is that is that okay i mean do they have anything with fish or shrimp because that's what i want and ernesta probably yeah yeah, Ernesta says that they want uh, some orange chicken and will be disappointed, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I <laughs> tried. I mean, I had to bribe just to get Fluffy in. You know how it goes. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's a long day. We're, we're signing up for this seven days a week, huh? It's going to be oh, God. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Jensen's just realizing that it's every day. Well, maybe we maybe we close on Mondays. <laughs> and maybe Tuesdays too. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even Wednesday. Like <laughs> maybe we're just weekends only. We, we think we've thought differently after today. That maybe <laughs> Yeah. Maybe four days a week is the best way to do this. We, you know, you I've know, heard they're doing that in some places. Yeah, definitely. America needs to go to a four-day work week for sure. Exactly. exactly. And that was our last one, right? Yes, it was. That awesome. was really fun. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, and I mean, I think Alana, Alana's right that, you know, it's a good way to practice your improv. And, you know, if it's someone that you're not familiar with, just to learn how to improv better. So Yeah, that's true. Um, before we go... If you happen to be here and aren't Alana, um, because probably Alana is cool and has already donated to the TTRPG Talk charity drive for Doctors Without Borders, um, but please go and give some money. You can get cool stuff like Babies and Broadswords books. Weird. You can get Who knew? improv lessons with the improv GM. 
Um, he has like a whole workshop set up for fifteen dollars or something. Like, come that's on, a that's a steal. It, absolutely. Um, I think the slovenly trolls, their lorry. Oh writers. yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, feminist and queer, we love it. Mm -hmm. And thank, yeah. So help us out. Go for green team. Absolutely. <laughs> And I mean, not that anyone other than Alana was here that we know of, <laughs> uh, but I would really like to see more people from Even Footing Games come on and play this. You know, it doesn't have to be a dual stream like this, but I would love to see people who aren't the two of us come on and play this. Or, Wait, you know, if there... one of us and someone else played. Yeah. There are people that play on games that aren't the two of us in Even Footing Games? Allegedly. I mean, Alana <laughs> was in... In some games that's true <laughs> and and amanda was like all week last week with right with, yeah <laughs> and so, i mean well, i was trying to get amanda to play this so maybe we yeah. can make that happen amanda's usually game for games yeah so. <laughs> exactly so all right well i don't have anything else right now do we have anything you else? would not get flustered you would do fine we would alana just alana we'll get you on here yeah Anyway, bye. <laughs>